What's up guys? I want to talk about today uh, about 6G and I know 5G just seemed like it just got here which it kind of did. It started uh, I think hitting US market last year for the most part. However, there is 6G technology being developed and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about your cell phone and what network you're on and the data speeds. So there's currently 5G and 4G I guess in older phones as well. Um, and as we increase or as new technology comes out, speeds increase, you know, how fast basically your internet is on your phone. So um, I found this, this article off of uh, Bloomberg Quint and kind of uses my reference here. So if, I, if I'm veering off and looking uh, to the side here, that's why. So it's, it, I won't get into this whole technical aspect of it. Uh, I want to come from more from an investing standpoint. Uh, even though there are, you can invest in 5G companies right now. Obviously, all the cell phone companies. There's also ETF uh, that you can invest in that basically puts together all these 5G companies, uh, including the people that the company businesses that develop the towers to put 5Gs up, 5G towers up. Uh, that ETF, you know, measures and basically you can invest that way as well. So with 6G, it's pretty interesting. Some information I found out. Um, and I'm gonna, and it's it, basically the article talks about how it's a it's a race, the first country to develop 6G, and uh, how we lost the United States lost in developing 5G. We lost to basically China. So let me, uh, I'm gonna go through some of these countries and when they started uh, developing 6G essentially. So China, they started research in 2018 and planned to introduce 6G around 2029. So it's 2021, eight years they plan to have 6G in China. All right, um, we go to the U.S. We started research in 2018 as well. However, there's no um, date in terms of like not due date, but uh, ex expectation where they want to get this stuff done. According to this article, we need to get it done before China gets it done, essentially, or any other country. So we'll see. Um, this is another interesting part. So you talk about investing in, in companies that are doing 6G. Uh, companies formed the Next G Alliance in October 2020, so just last year, a few months back. Uh, so this Next G Alliance includes Apple, AT&T, and Google. All right, three big companies. Obviously, I think we all heard about all the companies. Definitely Apple, AT&T, and Google. So that's us. That's kind of like the basic information about us. Um, South Korea started research in 2019. Plans to launch 6G in 2026. That's only five years from now. So if we can catch up or not, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Japan began research last year, 2020. They plan to launch 6G by 2030. Uh, government, the Japanese government plans to set aside $9.6 billion to develop this technology. Uh, and on their end, are their companies, they have Sony and TNT, which I'm not sure what that is, and Intel. So those are pretty big name companies. Um, going back to South Korea, again, they, they want to fast track and be 6G by 2026. They have LG Electronics, Samsung Electronics. Um, they have formed a 6G development partnership. So those are big companies as well. And finally, we have Europe. And uh, let's see... They have different uh, parts of Europe. So European Union started Nokia-led uh, Hexa X 6G wireless research project in 2020. That includes Ericsson, Intel, and Telefonica, which I never heard of. Uh, Ericsson used to make cell phones, and, and they used to partner up with Sony, I believe, way back in the day. Uh, Finland's University of Ulu, hope I said that right, Announced about 300 million to the 6G flagship program in 2018. So Finland's university, they started doing this, or they announced that they're gonna start doing this in 2018. That's three years ago. Uh, the UK's University of Surrey launched a 6G, sorry, 6G initiative innovation center in 2020. Germany, Germany-based Next generation mobile networks alliance launched a 6g research project in 2020 the government has decided to fund new technology but the uh, development and uh russia's institute of science technology Center in 2020 
that it has created a device that could aid the development of 6G system components. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, a device. Um, so going to now, this may be a little technical, but going to now the actual speeds of this device. So if you guys remember, we had 3G phones, which was a huge deal. Uh, as far as download speeds, the peak download speeds of a 3G uh, phone network was 42 megabits per second. And then we got 4G, right, which has been around seems for a while. Uh, that jumped up to 300 megabits per second. Now we have 5G, which says it's 10 meg 10,000 megabits per second or 10 gigabits per second, which is fast. Now, I have a 5G phone. As far as the speed I've seen, and maybe because it's the area I'm in, hasn't been exactly uh, any faster than the 4G uh, for my daily use. So um, I don't know, maybe because it's a newer, or sorry, it's, it's the first generation 5G phone. That could be it. Who knows? Uh, 6G speeds, however, be 1 million. 1 million, going from 10,000 uh, megabits to 1 million megabits a second. Uh, that's that's insane. That's crazy speed. That's faster than any home internet you can get. Uh, I'm pretty sure, especially here uh, where I live, you can get the faster you can get is one gigabit a second. So that's basically a hundred times that I believe. Yeah, a thousand times that. that. That's just insane. So in this chart, also breaks down the the use cases for it. So when it came to three G speeds. It was internet connected phones, multimedia messaging, that type of stuff. Uh, 4G was more smartphone, media streaming, video conferencing. So 4G made it possible or help, you know, watch YouTube, Netflix on your phone, do FaceTime, all that stuff. 5G, it's now high definition, so better quality. Uh, it can connect uh, autonomous cars, so, you know, Tesla and these other manufacturers and a bunch of internet. Now when it comes to 6G, like what's the next step? I mean, what can we use all the speed for? In here they have holographic imaging, flying cars, internet of everything, including connected bodies and brains. So it's getting sort of sci-fi-ish, you know, with the, with the information structure on there. Um, so from a investing standpoint, okay, let me read off the companies again. So you can, uh, research and full disclaimer guys i am not a financial professional advisor planner always do your own research always talk with your uh professional uh finance person first uh before you go and invest stuff so let me read off the companies and uh you know that way you have a list and i'll put a list down below too of who's working on the 6g uh, things and and how you can invest and and hopefully make some money. Uh, so we have uh, okay, we have in the U.S. Apple, AT and T, Google. Uh, South Korea has LG Electronics, Samsung Electronics, SK Telecom, and then uh, Japan has Sony. So those are pretty big companies. Europe has Nokia. Uh, Ericsson and Intel, and I'm, I'm again. I'm not too sure about Telefonica. I never heard of it, so uh, I'm not sure that's a publicly traded company or not. Um, anyways, I'll list those down below so you guys can check them out and do your own research on those. Um, but it was just an interesting article. I thought, especially when uh, I came across, you know, how to invest in 5G. Well, this is 6G, and according to this time frame, we can have it within five to ten years. It seems like so. We shall see. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys done research of this? There's companies I'm missing that are developing 6G that I was not included in this article. Uh, love to hear your comments on this. So if you guys are new to the channel, I'm bringing content like this every single week from investing to crypto to stimulus package to small business stuff, entrepreneur stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, peace.